All right, it's day 35. It's the third episode of this Growing Lemon Trees from Seed Series. The first set of true leaves are looking good. You can hardly see the stubble that looks burnt. The one in the middle and the fourth one to germinate to the right of this have uh, green stems that haven't been charred yet, but they soon will be. Uh, results speak for themselves. Colder and wetter in this pot is better. And I'm keeping the two halves of the endosperm exposed because there seems to be no harm in doing so. They functionally act as two additional leaves, especially back in the time where the first true leaves were so tiny and just coming out of the cotyledons. So the leaf edges look a little, I wouldn't say warty, but they look not smooth. It's the same way it was with the navel orange last year and the tree got off to a very similar start actually except this one actually survived because it's in a more advantageous position in the pot in my opinion you can see the shade has almost reached the seedling so I'm fertilizing with a low concentration of fertilizer it's miracle grow you can hardly see the blue in there to let the rest of the soil and the pot dry out during the germination process I watered so much from the top and I started with a potting mix that was quite wet already so some water gathered in the bottom watering tray which is hard to see in these kind of pots versus the, the beige ones I have. But the pot would be heavy with water and I sprayed a little bit of water here, distilled water to wash off any droplets of fertilizer even at such low concentrations I don't want water spots or potential fertilizer burns to occur although I, I don't think I've ever had that problem well maybe with a California goldenrod so it's day 38 the first set of true leaves are bigger the rest of this pot looks like a barren desert at this point because I'm not watering any of the stuff on top to keep it dark and damp so the true leaves are bigger there's another actually I wouldn't exactly call them a set because they seem to grow at alternating intervals nodes on the stem but the stem is getting longer the leaves are not a verdant green but neither were the leaves for the mango at first in fact the green here took a lot less time to show up it was never red or really yellow like the nascent mango seedlings were and I'm keeping the two halves of the endosperm exposed, why not? I'm guessing the root system, well maybe it won't go as long and deep as the mango taproot did. It's probably going down a few centimeters. So here I've spun around the pot just to give you some better videography and it's not a beautiful plant at this point but the fact that it's growing and everything else died it makes me happy so the stem is a little curved as you can see due to phototropism and eventually um, I might consider other positions but for now I'll just rotate it back to the position it was in it's doing well if I have it in this position where it receives the most amount of sun and heat during the day then it might die like the other ones did so I think the results definitely speak for themselves refilled the squirt bottle and Basically, it has a dissolved multivitamin to the best of my ability. Actually, the most of the crushed multivitamin didn't dissolve. Maybe the concentration is just too high or there are insoluble compounds in there. Perfectly understandable. So later on, I washed out the squirt bottle, took out the supernatant first, and then put it back. So I'm doing a little bit of showering with my showering can here. I think I can afford to keep this a little wetter than the mango but that's still not a lot of water it's all on the surface so the sun will dry that out and cause it to evaporate soon enough so with a crushed multivitamin in there it has a more of a green appearance than just that uh, crystal blue